Hey, I'm Trace and this is D News and 3D printing is one of the most exciting technologies right now and people as they gain access to it are creating everything from food to furniture. In case you're not familiar with 3D printing, it's essentially the same as ink and paper printing, but without the ink. Instead, it's using a hundred different materials ranging from edible stuff to metals to thermoplastics and it prints everything layer by layer to create a 3D object. As 3D printing becomes more accessible, the public and small companies are revolutionizing the industry while larger companies with more traditional manufacturing setups are rushing to get in front of the technology. Someday you might have a 3D printer in your own house that could print you whatever you wanted. Think about it, you could go online, order a pair of shoes, and have them printed out, right there. Done. How about this for an example? I buy a video game controller at the store, and I like it, but you know, I, you know, I, don't, I don't love it. So I scan it into my computer and I make a 3D model and I move the buttons around, maybe make it a little wider, or a little longer or something like that. And then I print it out in my 3D printer. It comes out with all the buttons working and all the electronics in there. I take that file and I share it online and other people start downloading it. Well, I, you know, go pwn noobs or whatever. And uh, we can do this right now with current 3D technology. If you saw my video on the moon earlier this week, then you know we are going back. Yeah! But if we're going to be hanging out on the moon for any length of time, there may be things that we need that we can't take with us. This is where 3D printing comes in. NASA is looking at using moon dust as a material to print tools. It's not just out of this world application. A new technology partially funded by the National Science Foundation allows special software and a 3D printer to essentially create pharmaceuticals in a laboratory. They're printing DNA. All they have to do is drag and drop bits on a computer and out pops a new pharmaceutical drug. Most drugs come from a trial and error process of about seven to 10 years. So the idea that in a fraction of that time, you can use software to target specific cell receptors and then print out that new drug on a 3D printer is like fantastically futuristic. We can already print human body parts like bones and stuff. A printed jawbone was actually implanted earlier this year. There are bigger things than that that get the 3D printing world up in arms. <laughs> printed guns. Yep, using a free download from Defense Distributed and a simple thermoplastic material with your 3D printer, you, yes you, can print an assault rifle complete with moving parts. The assault rifle looks like a modified AR-15 and while you can print the gun, you can't print the ammunition. <laughs> yet. So no worries then? Or worries? Or not sure? Neither is Congress. They're currently looking at legislation to prevent plastic guns from finding their way into the hands of the public and off airplanes. But at the moment, laws are pretty lax in this area. If you had access to a 3D printer, what would you make? Let us know in the comments and don't forget to subscribe to D News so that you can get all three of our videos every single day. Thanks for watching. I'm Trace. Catch you later.